Hi there and welcome. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how the Discounting Cash Flows website lets you instantly see if a stock looks cheap, fair, or expensive, and to set up monitoring and alerts so that you never miss an opportunity. So let's go ahead and jump into Apple. Then we're going to go inside of valuation. Discounting Cash Flows uses industry standard valuation models to estimate a company's fair value from its fundamentals. So let's go ahead and click on browse models. Here you can browse the list of models and pick the one that best fits the company that you are analyzing or your investment style. For me, I'm going to go with a discounted free cash flow and click on that. Once we do that, we can scroll down and see our assumptions section here near the bottom. Now the assumptions are your best guess numbers about the company's future such as how fast the sales will grow, what the profit margins will be, or the discount rate you want to apply. Not only that, they are fully interactive, so you can adjust them to match your own projections. For example, the revenue growth rate, let's change this to 10%. Once I do that, the model instantly recalculates with your updated assumptions and shows a new estimated value result. Not only that, you can always restore your assumptions to their original values by clicking on more and then reset assumptions. Just below that, we have our historical values and our charts. Now the charts can display past values, which are marked with these solid lines that you see here, and projected values, which are marked with these dashed lines that you see here. And we can drag these to adjust our projections like so, which will automatically update the values below, or we can simply edit the values below, which in return will update the dashed lines above. From there, we're gonna scroll down a little bit further down here to the historical data. These tables here can be reordered, reformatted, and exported to Excel. Let's go ahead and go back up to the top. You can easily share your valuation models as well by simply going to share and generate link. Then we can copy this link here and anyone that you send it to will see the exact same model and assumptions that we have here on this page. Not only that, you can also add a valuation model to your watch list and keep an eye on it over time. To do that, we simply click on watch list, create your first watch list. So I will call this my watch list and then click on create. Once we have that created, we are gonna click on new Apple Watch. We can give this a new name or keep the default and then click on next. Now here, the valuation model is auto filled, but you can choose a fixed target price that never changes by selecting fixed value here on the left hand side. For me, I'll go with the valuation model and then click on add watch. Finally, we're gonna set an alert so that we'll ping you the moment that your model's value rises above or falls below the market price. And to do that, we're gonna click on the little bell icon over here. Then we're gonna click on add alert and then add alert one more time. And just like that, our alert has been created. Next, we're gonna go inside of the source code. So every model is written in Python, which is the same language used by data scientists. And you have full access to the code. You can make any changes that you like, then you can click on run to see the results. And when you are finished making any changes, don't forget to give your model a name and then click on save. Now, if you are not familiar with coding, you can click on the AI tab on the right hand side and you can describe what you need and let the assistant write or tweak the code for you. For example, I can say, write me a model that displays the most important financial metrics and send that. Now for a complete reference to our Python framework, including every function and data retrieval method, you can see the model editor guide and we'll put a link below this video. And if you need any help at all, you can always reach out on a Discord or through our support page. If this walkthrough helped you, please give it a like and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.